。Right, chapter twelve, 第十二章，五声令人目盲，五音令人耳聋，五味令人口爽，吃成甜烈，令人心发狂，难得之货，令人心烦。是以圣人为父，不为目，故去皮其齿。Right, um, so this chapter describe a state of development where is described as such that when the society had progressed to a higher form. Right in his, in this form which he's talking about is economic gains, you know, material gains, you know.、Uh, so when things are so easily available, you know, like whatever you want to buy is all out there, right now, especially in a developing country, developed country. Sorry, there's so many things that you can buy. All of us can just go online, shop and shop and shop, you know. So. And at the same time, we could also enjoy music and go to disco and dance, and the music is so loud that you could not even hear anything. You could not even speak to anybody in the disco tech, right? So he's describing this kind of environment, this kind of advancement. And then he also talk about when food is abundant, you know, you just keep eating, you know, all kind of food you can have, right? So. He's painting a picture where, where everything is in abundance, right?、And、at the same times, your desire is so great that you like to conquer, and whatever you want, whatever you want to conquer, you got it, right? So you have lost yourself, right? In that all this abundance, you you lost and become something else, you know, become another kind of state of mind. So. And at the same time, you acquire so much thing. So when you acquire so much thing, so much property, so much material gain, you have to guard against other people from stealing your gains. Right? So you get very troubled. How do I protect my wealth? Just like if you are the richest man, what do you do? You have to protect your wealth, right? That's why you have tax haven. You know, Virgin Island, whatever island. You know, they create those island for tax haven because you need to keep it to yourself. But Then again, you got so much you can't even use it. So what do you do? You keep it for your descendants. So does your descendant need to work? No need. You know he has all the money. You know, just I heard of a story is that someone from some part of the world. You know they have so much、uh, money, oil money. The dad was in the hospital, and the son was like opening a bottle of two thousand、uh, dollars. Uh, rare wine, you know, having his breakfast or his lunch, right? So he spent about ten thousand on his one meal, one singular meal. And so, when the dad at the deathbed asked him, "What are you doing? You know, you are wasting a lot of money. Say, you, know, you have like billions of dollars. You know, what is ten thousand dollar a meal? I can't even finish using. So what the hell? I like need to work. You know, so he don't work. So what happened? So you lost something. You lost your heart. You lost your ability to be a human. Things like that. Yeah. So,、um, that is why he spoke about that part, right? And let's take a look again and see. So he say, if you are said, if you are wise, then take care of your stomach. Right? No, he don't say take care of your tongue. You know, yeah, take care of your stomach. So what do your stomach need? Something that's very simple, just a proper meal, right? And then he say, if you take care of your stomach, you'll be wiser because you don't let other things dictate your behavior. For example, you like the taste, you eat a lot. You know, you don't depend on your taste bud to eat food. It depends on your stomach. If you're hungry, you eat, right? So, and you don't depends on what you see to get what you want. Because when you see a lot of things, your desire go up. You want to acquire all of them, and you become somebody else. 
and that's not necessary because what is the basic requirement of human being? Just simple food for a meal, right? So he say, if you want to be wise, you want to sort of develop yourself, forget about the rest of the thing, just make sure you have a proper meal. That's about it, you know, as a human being. So he is painting a picture where the society is so developed until everything is abundant. And what then, what you need to do, you need to return, you know, return to the basic. Right, so what is the basic? The basic is just a proper meal. And nothing to do with other things, right? So here, you can see all the abundance is not what the Tao or the wise man should go after. What the wise man wants to go after is just a simple life. So simplicity is the main gist of, of the way the Tao is, right? So that should be the ultimate aim of one's life, you know, of one's following what nature is, you know. Nature is just be yourself. What do you need? You just need food to survive. The rest of them is just extra that you don't need. So return to the basic, return to the simple person, return to the origin where what is necessary, what is the thing that keeps you alive. That's about it. Okay, no, that is that part. So we must always remember that Tao is not to have ambition, to have like big dreams, to change the world, you know, nothing like that. Right? It is the reverse in fact. Right? Return to the basic. Return to the minimum. Maybe something like minimalism, you know? Yeah. So this chapter. Yeah, this the gist of this chapter. So we'll go on to the next chapter, right? Later.